Right on. So, um, so let's let's um, let's rewind the clock a little bit. Okay. To literal young Jer. We're going back to young Jer. Yeah, oh, literal no. young Jer. <laughs> literal days. young Jer. So, um, before getting, or well, maybe I'm assuming. So, uh, was there? Was, I'm assuming there's a time in your life where you, before you were bit by the kind of physical athlete competitor competitor bug. I'm assuming in your younger days, or have you always been uh, like a competitive athlete, or how would you describe yourself when you're younger? As far as competition goes, I always—I mean, I played sports growing up. Um, my my parents split when I was super young, and my dad got remarried. And like at the very beginning, I didn't really want to compete. Mm-hmm. It was like one of those weird things. And my stepmom was actually the first one to like get me on the baseball field without crying my guts out. <laughs> <laughs> then I kind of realized that I liked it. And so for whatever reason, I, 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 kinda, I liked competition. Um, there were points in my life where I didn't feel like my teammates were as good as me. That kind of frustrated me a little. Okay. Uh, but, and then there was a point in my life where I wasn't good enough either. Uh, <laughs> that happened when I moved in with my dad. So I went from a school of, I probably had 180 in my graduating class. Right. You know, 200 maybe. And so, basically, if you want to play a sport, you just uh, signed right, up. Right, you signed up, it. right, yeah. <laughs> and you showed up, right. and they're like, yeah, awesome, we'll take Small you. pond, all yeah, the fish are big. Yeah, right. exactly. Even if you're terrible, it's <laughs> right. like your practice squad. Good that you can play defense <laughs> against the good kids. Right. And uh, so, then I moved in with my dad uh, when I was in eighth grade, mm-hmm. and I went from about 200 kids in my graduating class, and then all of a sudden, I had like 1150, which is... Wow. Yeah. It was a different experience for me. Mm-hmm. And so... I moved in too late to to join anything in eighth grade year, and then freshman year they have you know the freshman team or whatever. Yeah, and uh, they had their own freshman building because they couldn't fit anyone. They couldn't fit them all in the high school. Wow! So they had their own freshman building, and then you went to the high school mm-hmm. in sophomore year. And uh, so the first thing I tried out for, which was a winter sport, was uh, basketball. And I vividly remember walking in the gym, and you know they take twelve kids, right, five on the floor at a time, and. Uh, you know, thinking that, like, no big deal. You know, I started down here, like, yeah, I'm going to make it. And then uh, you look around, there's, like, 120 kids around you. And right. they're all trying to make this 12-person squad. And uh, I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert to anybody Didn't make this. it. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. So I was, like, conditioned to that point to think that I was. I tried a couple other things, but I just didn't make it up there. I don't, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, always made it to the last day. My dad will tell you it's political at this point, but. I don't believe him. <laughs> that, almost to every parent, yeah. I think, right, um, yeah, when their kid doesn't make a team Absolutely. or get the playing time they want, it's purely political. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's purely political. Had to be. Had to be. <laughs> Absolutely. So I got kind of conditioned that way. Mm-hmm. Then I ended up moving back. And uh, so then it was like my perspective had changed. Right. And so I hadn't played sports in like three or four years from eighth grade to, to my junior year. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden I go to a different school with another, you know, I think I had 180 in my graduate when I actually graduated. Right. And uh, everyone's like, dude, why don't you play sports? I'm like, because I'm not good enough. Right. <laughs> and they're like, right. what do you mean? Of course you're good enough. But, uh, you know, I wasn't for the longest time. And then I just wasn't practicing. I didn't want to embarrass myself. 